Hey everyone, and welcome back to this class, Data Science, Deep Learning in Python, Part 1. In this lecture, we're going to review some of the most basic principles of machine learning. You absolutely have to understand this if you want a solid grounding on how machine learning works and what it can be used for. The key point of this lecture is that machine learning is nothing but a geometry problem. That's right, it's nothing more than just a bunch of dots on a grid. It's what we do with these dots that makes machine learning what it is. The most basic machine learning problem looks something like this. We have some input on the x-axis, and we would like to be able to predict the target, which is on the y-axis. So as an example of this, we would be trying to predict someone's weight from their height. We know that, generally speaking, taller people are heavier because they have more mass. Of course, there are exceptions to this, such as a very tall, skinny person or a very short and stout person. So that's why these points don't fall on an exact line, but they generally follow the same pattern. Our goal is to find the line that best fits to our data. We call this the line of best fit. So we would write out our model as y hat equals wx plus b. And here x means height and y hat means predicted weight. Of course, in many real world problems, you might have more than one input. For example, you might be trying to predict the price of a house given the number of bedrooms and the average family income of people in that neighborhood. In this case, we'd write it out as y hat equals w2x2 plus w1x1 plus b. We could also write it out as w transpose x plus b for short. And here, w is a vector and x is a vector. In fact, we usually have more than one input to try and predict the output from. So you should get very used to using this vector form of these equations. Now as a convention, we usually use the capital letter D to denote the size of w and x. And by the way, they both have to have the same size in order for the dot product to actually work. And when we have d greater than 1, we no longer have a line of best fit, but a plane or a hyperplane. In other words, it's still a non-curving object, but it has more dimensions. So this problem of trying to predict a continuous value is called regression. In the past, we've studied linear regression because it provides the groundwork necessary to move on to deep learning. We also have the problem of classification, which is what we'll focus on mostly in this course. For classification, we're trying to predict a category. For example, given a person's height and weight, we can try to predict whether or not they have high blood pressure. In the past, we used logistic regression for this task. Again, logistic regression uses a line or a plane for the model. But instead of this line or plane trying to predict a value, it now provides a boundary. We can say anything on one side of this line means not high blood pressure and everything on the other side of the line means high blood pressure. This is called binary classification because we're trying to predict the label out of two different categories. In this course, we'll explore how to go from two to any number of categories. One important point that I cover often is that all data is the same. I hope you've realized that in the discussion we just had about what machine learning is trying to do, there's no reason that the data had to be from the examples I used. So I said let's use height and weight to predict high blood pressure, but that need not be the case. What if we switched height to be weight and weight to be height? That's totally fine, it's still a geometry problem. What if I completely change the problem? Let's say I want to predict whether or not you will pass your math exam. As input, we can take in the number of hours you studied and your grade on the midterm. But realize that this only changes the semantics of the problem. It does not change the mechanics of the problem. The problem still is, we have these red dots and we have these blue dots, and our job is to find the line that best separates the red dots from the blue dots. In other words, we use the phrase, all data is the same. It doesn't matter if you're trying to predict whether or not you have high blood pressure or whether or not you will pass your math exam. It doesn't matter if your problem is a finance problem or if it's a biology problem. All data is the same, and machine learning is nothing but a geometry problem.
So to summarize, I hope this helped you to remember what supervised machine learning is and that it's not anything magical. It's just a geometry problem. And because of this, we know that all data is the same. You can plug in any data from your own area of interest. None of the code has to change and none of the algorithms have to change. Machine learning works no matter where your data comes from.